recording starting now. Uh, I want a drink. Oh, that's right. I have fucking alcohol. Uh, Elmo, did you manage to see the last episode of the last session? I did not, unfortunately. I, I okay. apologize for that. No, no worries. Uh, you died three times. Oh! Wait, did I really? By the yeah. way, Ryan, uh, I never said it, and I feel I should. I'm sorry for getting your dragon killed that one time you were late. My what? I've actually <laughs> oh, my dragon? Oh, I don't care. Wait, did I actually die? Yeah, three times. I don't believe you, Ryan. I don't believe anything you say. How many times have I bullshitted anybody uh, in D&D &D when it came to people dying? Zero. I still have 91 out of 91. Unless you guys revived me. Three times. You revived me three times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I guess. Yes. I have a question for you, Manny. Yeah. Um. So I remember when we first got to uh, Hecta or the uh, Revelia. And we did. We we're doing some of the mini games. Uh, Lucian actually fell into some water and then started getting dyed, like blue. Oh, when he fell during the uh, boat blaster game. Yes. Uh huh. Is he still dyed? I'm just curious. <laughs> Is he like half? Ah, uh, that's a question you can ask him. Oh, okay. Um, so he gets to decide that. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, abandoned. Abandoned. So, welcome back. Last time we met, you all were running errands for Locke. You helped retrieve the um uh, the marionette. You played a prank on the good old captain, Rashawn. Um, you helped Felix gain, gain more foot traffic to his potion shop. You did your job a little too well. You managed to steal the coveted beer stein that Locke was after. You also poisoned Bab's product, her inventory, which was done by Avenir. And ultimately gaining the trust of Locke in the toy maker. Uh, you also are now aware of Marlo's intentions. We left off with you guys who are about to be given more information about the true intentions of these individuals. And Locke starts by saying we know of a way out. But we require your help. Okay. Oh. Divulge oh. the information. Do elaborate. Oh. Many moons. Hard to tell, I know. But many moons ago. There was a train that transported people in and out of the Revelia. After 
Hecna's confrontation with Cicero. The train has broken down and we haven't been able to leave since then. We intend to fix the train and escape. However, the train doesn't have some of the pieces it needs to work. That is where you come in. Hecna does not know your intentions yet. And you're able to move freely for the most part. So, I ask you to help us retrieve these objects and help us get the train running again. And he just looks at all of you as you uh, digest the information he's just given you. What kind of objects do we need to retrieve to get the train running again? Mm. We'll start with the first one. I need you to find oh, the chair. Oh. The last known location was the Tunnel of Love. It's just a chair. You just call it the chair. It is called the chair. Find Cicero. You will find the chair. Can we can we do without the chair? Why do we need chairs? Because you can't vault over everything, piece. bro. It what? is an important piece of the train. You say so. Find the chair. We will start with that. Now, how do we get to the Tunnel of Love? That's for you to figure out! Oh. I'm giving you information. You figure out how to get there. Uh... Oh. Don't right. we have to go to the Misery go-around first and then walk west of that? Yeah, that seems... But we can't get into the Dismadium without Hecna's approval, right? Uh, it depends. Uh, we, we should head up there and see what we find. If there's a barrier of some kind. And then, yeah. And then we can deal with it. Um, do we... Do we eventually... Um, I, I want to talk to Locke. Refer this to Locke. Do we eventually have to fight Hecna? Or are we are just trying to, like, escape? Is this... There is a very high chance we fight. Cause uh, you, you may be holding parts of the train hostage. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. Yeah, because I think that, or maybe you can you can tell me, Locke, uh, if it's even worth trying to rescue uh, all of the poor souls that are trapped here. Because we, we don't know what will happen when the train is repaired. That's true. We hope that in by finding these relics they will weaken Hecna in the process. Ah. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, also, did you, have you come across any new uh, magic items or any new shiny things? I think it's been like a day. Give me a second. See if he's if he has anything new we could buy off of him. So he pulls out a jug. <laughs> oh no. Huh. It doesn't look <laughs> like a very familiar jug. <laughs> you guys recognize the jug immediately. Oh. Just got this bad boy today! Wait, did we lose that somehow? Or do we still. I'm trying he to. He gave that away, right? He gave it away, right? He gave it... Who did he give it to? 
Um. Oh. I... oh fuck! I how, know. How much for the jug? Um. Let me. Uh, let me take. Oh my one. god. Uh. Can I just <laughs> offer him twenty tickets? Just all my tickets. <laughs> okay. I really want that. Oh! To twenty <laughs> tickets. I want. I want. I want the mayo jug. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I do recall, it was traded, traded for for something. And uh, as you guys have seen by now, Locke and the children of the candy corn tend to find items. Yeah. <laughs> find <laughs> items, you know. Can you, can, you, can you add it to my inventory or? <laughs> uh, yeah. Give me a sec. Thanks, Fatty. <laughs> Mayo for everyone, guys. Pota <laughs> Potatoes are back on the menu. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why this audio wasn't working. I think that fixes it. Yeah, I'm guys. sorry, guys. Did, did anyone else want this joke? Because I really wanted this joke. Uh, no, you can have the jug. All right, I think sweet. it's funny that we were able to find we it again. We just find it again. In the just so you guys know, I rolled a random item. And it was the jug. It was, and, and it was it, the jug. It was the jug. <laughs> yeah, it was the jug. I thought, okay, here, here's what I thought. Meta, meta, meta. This is what I thought happened, right? It's just like, oh, if, 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 like, you just roll for the last thing that they got rid of, and it's just like that was it. And that's what I thought yeah. we were chuckling about. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was more RNG than that, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. That's just really funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's so that, hilarious. That was a great coincidence. <laughs> Oh, let's right. see, let's see. Acid, basic poison, beer, honey, mayonnaise. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay. All right, all right. So, by this point, you guys, it's been pretty much the better part of a day. Um, mm hmm So, you may choose to continue exploring, or, well, I'll let you decide what you'd like to do from here. I say we continue exploring. Besides, that's just me. I mean, we should probably try and head over to the tunnel, right? Uh, well, I think... Mm, yes, because I don't think we've used up any resources, right? We're just we're probably just pushing pushing the end of the day. Yeah, so there's so, no real so it, reason to, to yeah. rest yet. Yeah. You guys so are starting to feel regular day-to-day, -day, like... Yeah. So here's what I think we should do. We should just put uh, Tiefling Boy in the bag of holding to the neck. And then we should go to the Tunnel of Love. Okay. And then, you know, Avidir can just chill with us. And then can I say uh, that Tiefling Boy gets a short rest? Sure. It eventually, oh. you know. Yeah. Okay. Ungrateful bastard. Okay. So, you head further into the Revelia uh -huh. in hopes of reaching the Tunnel of Love. And there is a pathway that you can follow from Locke's place to the Tunnel of Love. Okay. Or if you decide to take another route, that's up to you guys. How, do, how would you like to? Uh, no, we'll we'll, t we'll try to take the quickest path. Yeah. Quickest path. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you continue past the stalls and vendors. You pass through the midway, and after a few minutes, you find yourselves on a road that is heading further into the part of the Revelia that you haven't explored yet. Mm-hmm. And as you walk by, you start to see the vendors pass by five minutes, ten minutes. And at this point, um, who can, can you guys give me your passive perception again? Uh, mine's six. Does anybody have something higher? OK, so Gusty, you begin to notice. And if anybody who has a higher than a 15. 16 for me, 16. Yeah. Yes, so you two notice. Yeah. That you guys are passing by the same vendors. Oh. After oh. the five minute mark. Oh, interesting. So we've been, we've been teleporting. They are basically just oh, circling back. My bad, Manny. Sorry, I lied. It's 15. But yeah, it's still 15. Oh, that, that, that's fine. 
So, but by this point, you begin to realize that no matter, you know, about the 10 minute mark, you again are doing a second pass of the same merchants uh. that you passed 10 minutes ago. Um, and you begin to realize that you're not getting anywhere near close to the tunnel of love, despite that you, despite the fact that you can see it in the distance. Right. Hmm. So it's, it's doing the, uh, it's doing the tree line thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, 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 um. And if you if you remember, in order to reach the further parts of the Revelia, you need to be personally invited by Hecna. Yeah, that's true. See, that's what I but, said. But uh, let me see. Let me check Discord real quick. Hecna's not online, so we're fuck out of luck, aren't we? Uh, he'll be on. No, <laughs> he said he'll be on a bit later. He's gonna be running late. But, you yeah, motherfucker! The <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gussie looks up at this guy. Hmm, he's not here today. The moon is gone. That's weird. <laughs> Do you notice that his? You don't feel yourself like you're being watched right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. What's uh. Yeah, let's go Actually, do some. I don't even notice, so. I pointed out. I pointed out to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no, no. Actually, um, Typhon, I was, uh, Gussie was thinking the same thing. We should go. Let's do some mini games while we wait. You know. Yep, that's definitely what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because don't we, we don't we have to get uh, Hecna's favor? And I think the only way is to play more games. Yeah, let's just do some more games, man. Like, uh, I don't know. Let's do. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, the flail on the donkey. You want to go? You want to do the donkey again? I mean, I didn't, I didn't get to do the donkey one. I don't mind doing the donkey. Let's do the donkey. Yeah, let's go do the donkey one again. Okay. What if it's like a different creature now? Pin the tail on the Balrog. The Balrog. <laughs> Oh shit, I spilled it. Ah! Okay. Let's pin the tail. I feel great. I need to pull up the midway. Here we go. Okay. And the flail. Okay, so you guys head back to the midway. Um. Let me just make sure. Let's see if I... Oh, look at that, I did. Okay. As you approach the midway, you begin to see not just one, not two, but three donkeys currently being transported oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, no. to the minigame. You also see two children of the candy corn with firecrackers as they begin to light them and start running towards the donkeys. Uh, wait, they're still being transported? And this is happening? Yes. Oh, is it like a prank? Is this is a so, what do you do? Uh, well, the children of the candy corner are working with Locke, so maybe we shouldn't stop them. I'm not a PvPer. You're playing the skills of. The okay. So, as you continue to watch, they throw the firecrackers near the donkeys, and they go off. They're loud, just. And it startles them. Startles the living shit out of them. And the handlers begin to lose control. They are not able to hold on. And now there are three donkeys on the loose. Fuck. 
All right. Are they in like in the pen, or are they just like out in the open? Oh no, they were they were out in the open. Oh shit! It's time to do surface pressure. Right. Let's I'm go. I'm gonna go after the first one I see. Try and uh, hurt it. Okay. Towards the game. Roll, roll me an animal handling check as you do that. The animal handling. Aw, oh, yeah. The dragon master knows oh, about donkeys. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, as you approach this donkey and it's bucking and, like, getting ready to charge at you, you begin to calm it down. Now... You are able to start approaching as it comes. <laughs> That's when Gusty and Xander see another children child of the candy corn pull out a slingshot and uh -oh. aim at the donkey. That <laughs> Typhon is trying to calm down. Do you two do anything? Uh, can I like? Is he like? Well, it's a slingshot, right? So it has to be a range attack. Yeah. Can I like move between the children of the candy corn and? Typhon and like use my shield to to block the rock or whatever it is that like like I have to like j like goalie jump you know what I mean yeah 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 so you can roll athletics an athletics check okay uh yes yeah athletics. you said goalie jump but I immediately pictured hockey and I'm like why are you flying in pads first <laughs> Jesus now remind me totally what's the what's the type of shield you have is it metal oh yeah it's metal oh no okay. wait no it's metal so as you run up and you quickly get in between the donkey and the child with the slingshot you hear <laughs> ding ding <laughs> and everything is quiet you hear the you see the donkey get startled again and this time it rears up and tries to slam into typhon we're gonna, no, I'm I'm gonna set up here or i'm, I'm gonna sorry, set up typhon. here for uh for yeah. initiatives should have just taken the hit i mean right. yeah i'm sorry <laughs> i should have just gone for the other donkey dang it but there's no way I would have rolled a 21 on animal handling. What are these? What? Are, okay. What? What are these children of the candy corn? They're just like agitators. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're mischief makers. <laughs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Get that in Christmas, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's see. All right, all right. All right. Oh, actually, we'll give them combat rounds. Combat. Okay. So you guys go ahead and roll your initiatives. Sure. So I'm a little I'm lagging a little bit on this thing. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Oh. You said no, Sky. Uh, my dragon is not in the scene. Uh, yes, he is. I, I see him in the him. initiative. Oh. Okay. oh there he is. is uh Sky gonna be on later? You said May. Yes. And Friday is not going to be on. Yeah, correct. At this point, you guys turn it around and you see that. Lucian has fallen asleep in the bag I mean, of holding. Yeah, yeah, he's in the bag of holding. <laughs> uh, so am I taking control of Avidir or does anybody else want yeah. to Yeah. Oh, hey, I actually had a good initiative for once. I still keep rolling eights, so. All right, I will give you ownership, Francisco. Temporary ownership. Yep, for now. All right, let me roll initiative. There we go. So in the back, you see two of the uh, the thralls. They ran up to try and help. The two wranglers that were helping transport the donkeys are wrestling with the first one in the back. And they're trying to uh, they're trying to get it under control. 
Um, and he absolutely eats shit as he approaches from behind. He just gets fucking mollywopped. He takes two hooves to the face, and you see teeth flying. Oh no. And you see that everyone has scattered. <laughs> all, everyone has just left. They're all hiding. Um, you see one of the donkeys just dash into the one of the games and starts terrorizing one of the showstoppers, and you hear screaming off further up ahead. All right, it's, a, it's Abadir's turn. Uh, yes. So, let's see. How far can this guy move? Thirty feet. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30, 30. Uh, so Avidir is going to, let's see. Actually, hold on. He was like, where was he? Right here? 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 I think it was right next right to here, the best. Right, right? Yeah, right there, right there. 15, yeah. 20, 25. Um, and he's going to stealth. Let's see. Okay. Does, does he have? No, that's Gusty. Yeah, he's gonna try to hide and walk behind this stall and try to make his way to the donkey in the in D, in the top stall, the green one. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and roll it at advantage. These uh, donkeys have tunnel vision. Gotcha. Go ahead and roll again. Yeah. Let me They're just... not paying much attention to anything other than what's in front of them at the moment. 12. Okay. That's still better. All right, Typhon, Raijin. Okay. Um, so what happened to me with... The it's, getting ready to, uh, it's getting ready to smack you. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> huh. Can I try and mount it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, hmm. Or right, it's gonna be a two-parter, okay? Okay. All right. You're gonna need to give me an athletics check to see if you're fast enough to get on the donkey, or or acrobatics, whatever you prefer. Either one. See if you're okay. quick enough to get on the donkey. <laughs> okay. You Absolutely cannot get not. on the donkey. Okay. Uh, in that moment, you're kind of like. You're, you're, you thought you had it, and then out of nowhere, you just hear the thing. You turn around and just don't you you don't have enough time to react because you got startled by the slingshot, um, bolt, uh, get um, dart, dart hitting the shield, and you're just like, oh shit! And so, you you just and you weren't quick enough. Can, can I use Raijin to distract so I can get advantage and roll again? <laughs> <laughs> uh yes, you can you can use the help action with your with your dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go ahead. Yeah, he can assist you. Yeah. So Raijin tries to get the donkey's attention. <laughs> you can roll an advantage. So go ahead and roll again. Oh my. Wait, but that, I rolled twice though. Oh yeah. Uh, so I, yeah. No, no. Um, okay. So I'm letting you roll again. Okay. Okay. One uh, more yeah. time. Yeah. One more time. Okay. 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 okay, you definitely can get on. Now, I'm not going to have you roll as to whether you can stay on. I'm going to have the donkey roll against you in a little bit okay. to see if he can buck you off. Okay. So be ready for that. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a snack, though, so just give me, like, a five-second heads up. Uh, but it's about to happen, so... Oh, okay, just, welcome just, back. For a second. Yeah. Okay, and so you guys see the other... The other thrall that's in the back, he's trying to get a, he's trying to get his hands on the reins, right? But the donkey's a little too violent for him, and he's a swing and a miss as he keeps trying to grab the reins instead of trying to calm the donkey down. And as that happens, the the donkey begins to buck. Okay, I'm gonna. These are gonna be two contesting strength checks, Mr. Typhon. Check. Yes. And. It's impressive, but that you're able to stay on for as long as he could, but he gets the better of you by just barely. He beats oh. you by one. Oh, no. And he knocks you on your ass, and you're prone. Oh, no. As he, as he kicks you off, as he shakes you off. Uh, where are we calling 
where the game is. Where is that on the map? Or is it not on the map? <laughs> uh, we're in the midway right now. So that's the road oh, that... Oh, okay. Yeah. The road... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys were going through the midway. You were heading your... We were heading towards pin the flail okay. on the donkey <laughs> when you saw this happening, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And as you come down, you just see two hooves about to smash into you. <laughs> um, and tries to... But you're, you're just fast enough to avoid getting stepped on by the donkey. All right, Xander, it's your turn. All right. Um. Oh, we're attacking the donkey. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, no one's tried attacking the donkey yet. Everyone's been trying to calm him down. Yeah, seduce them. Restrain them, yeah. Hmm. 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 All right, well, I'm going to try and restrain the donkey that uh, Typhon's doing. What do I roll for that? It'll be... So, I, well, first tell me how you'd like to approach the situation. Oh, how are you going to okay. try and s subdue and restrain the donkey? I have my two hands out. Well, I Xander has animal handling as as one of his skills. So, sure. He takes his he understands that this is a different kind of animal, but he's going to try and approach it as if it was any other animal in a diff, in, in in the current realm or in the past realm that he was in because he thinks that this is a different realm. So, he's going to with two hands he's going to like hold on. I'm going to I'm going to take care of you. Just calm down. I'm going to try and slowly pet him. To okay. get him to calm down. Let's go ahead and roll an animal handling check. Oh fuck me! Ooh. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Really well. Ooh. And it, who knows if it was your calm demeanor and the sound of, or the sound of your voice, but in that moment, that donkey in front of you calms down, and it's still a little, still a little hesitant, and it's still in a defensive stance as you approach but you lay a hand down on the bridge of his nose yes. as you start patting him on the cheek and he seems to have calmed down now because of your experience with animals you know this is a high stress situation and the best thing to do at this point is to get them out of here and put them somewhere where they won't cause havoc so is there um can I can I look around and kind of just dis decide based on like the surroundings that I have is where the closest safest part is? I don't know how I would roll for that. So if you were to continue further down, just off the side of the uh, off the main pathway, uh, pathway. Uh, so these the right, people right here. Yeah, yeah. You see the uh, pin the flail on the donkey um, game, and I you could probably take them there. But you are going to need to roll a another successful animal handling check to try and get the donkey to follow you next turn. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. All right, Gusty. It's your turn. Uh. Okay. I'm going to have Gusty dash to right here. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I don't think I can use animal handling this turn because I I just use my action to dodge or to dash. Is that cool, Manny? But I'm gonna get up in this uh, donkey's face. I will make it a part of your dash if you want to. What kind of were you gonna animal handle or intimidate? I was or... gonna try to animal handle. I was so impressed with these guys trying to animal handle. I want to try to. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> in that case, yes. Then we can do it next turn. Gotcha. All right. I'm so impressed with these guys. I want to animate them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the donkey in front of you is now going to bring down both his rear legs on the prone. Oh no! The prone thrall <laughs> that's oh, no. right behind him. Not him. And you just see him just fucking stomping. He's trying to slam. He's trying to do some damage to this poor sucker. Not him. And he manages to roll away from the first one, and then you just see the first, the second hoof come down, 
on his chest and then the flails on the uh, on this donkeys you didn't notice it at first but you see like these sharp thorns on its tail as oh, they shit. whip across this poor thrall's chest as well mm -hmm. and you see tears into it into his clothes and he starts ye yelping and he starts yelling at the other one get it off of me All right. The other one yells, I'm trying! And then you realize that this yelling is not helping the situation. <laughs> They're aggravating As it the more. the donkey in the middle is getting more and more stressed out. And is starting to go, you know, you, you can see a bull in the china shop situation happening here. Oh, no. Okay. This guy tries to get up, and as he does, the donkey takes the opportunity to lift its hind legs up. And he's going to try and fucking... Launch him, which he does. Ooh. Rolls a fucking critical hit. This man goes flying into the stall and just ah! boom. <laughs> you guys just see him disappear in the back of the stall. And he tries to uh, slam into the one in front of him and misses. All right, it's Avadir's turn. Okay. Uh, so Ac Avadir actually has forty feet of movement at the beginning of the of his of the fight. So, if I were to assume that he moved, like pretty close to, where is Avadir? I can't see him. He's over here. Yeah, I know he's just off my screen. There we go. Because I couldn't. Yeah. So I just assume he could like, he moved thirty feet here here and then he moves another 10 over here so he's probably like right here hold on i got a movie he's, he's probably like okay. right here right yeah okay and he's still stealth right yes so he's gonna move over here and then he's gonna he's gonna do this he's gonna he's gonna whisper something in elder she's gonna whisper like every single time every single time he's like almost like he's kind of kind of cursing it yeah. And uh and then he's gonna vault into this into that stall. Okay. This was a game stall, right? Yeah, it's a game stall. And Avadir, the, uh... So Avadir's still stealth, right? Uh huh, yes. So he's gonna try to find red tickets to steal. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. So go ahead and so we're gonna do a two-parter. Okay. Two ro quick rolls in succession. Okay. Rolling an investigation check. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a box that is on the counter in front of Avadir. Okay. Now the problem is, it's also across on the other side. You'd have he has to roll past the donkey to get it. Okay. So, you see it. Now, it's going to be a con a, conjun a conjoined roll. I'm going to need an either athletics or acrobatics and a sleight of hand check. All right, let's see. To see if he's able to successfully dash past the donkey and grab the box. Let's see. So, okay. And then sleight of hand. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, do I get so, it? Hold on. Do I get advantage on this acrobatics because I was stealth? Yes. Go ahead and roll. You can roll yeah. with advantage. <laughs> All right. Good enough. So what Avadir does is as he's running past, he taps the donkey on on its back because it's being distracted by the, uh, the uh, showstopper. Mm-hmm. And the guy that was just flung into the uh, into the stall. And what Avadir does is he then takes his bow and he slaps the donkey on the ass <laughs> as it turns around. Yes. And so he's over here. Donkey's turned around, looking in towards everybody else. Mm -hmm. The showstopper is behind the donkey. He slaps the donkey on the ass with his bow. <laughs> And then he runs away, leaving the showstopper to be to be dealt with a reactionary kick. 
as the donkey now thinks that it is the showstopper that slapped it on its ass. All right, and so he's going to so grab it. Those, it's one of those you're walking by, and you tap him on the shoulder in the direction of where you're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> you just yeah, add okay. fuel to the fire. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so he grabs the box, right, and he still has plenty of movement. And he's going to, like, vault out of the stall and, like, end up over here, uh, over here in this square so yeah. that he's oh, far away from that donkey. And as Avadir vaults out, you just hear crash as the fucking showstopper gets launched out, and you hear yelling. Um, <laughs> you see another one of the jawbreakers walk up, and he puts up a sign. He dangles it on one of the pole, and it says "closed for renovations." <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> <clears throat> That's good. All right. <laughs> All right. Just get up, right? Yeah, time on. It's your turn. Uh, so you can just get up. Um, actually, Avidir pulled him up. Wait, did you see? Awakening? Yeah, you oh, saw Sun it? Awakening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah it was a, it was like a three part move Avidir just did, and he's not even here. Yeah. How okay. About that? I'm gonna go for round two of trying to mount this thing. <laughs> so Sander just calmed it down, and Typhon's like, "I'm getting back on this motherfucker." Hell yeah! Well, when you fall, when you fall oh off the donkey, what do you do? Man? God. You can I do anything to stop him? Can I like react to be like, "Don't fucking fuck this up"? You can react in astonishment. <laughs> you you can. Uh, I mean, so I'm like doing like the hand in motion around my neck, like stop, stop, stop. Now, I got this. And it's up to it's up to Typhon as to whether he wants to. Do it willingly. Can I can I persuade him? Can I can I well, roll a persuasion? That's where we're heading. So okay. a, so I don't know. Does Typhon want to willingly not jump on the donkey? I think the better question is, do I see him with his little? Oh, hand you signals? you totally can. Oh, it's not hard. He's right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> like right there. <laughs> What you could do is you, a, you could you, you could, could completely ignore him and then we're gonna go into another contest. Or, or perhaps the what question. Happened, what happened with Gusty's over there? Oh, uh, I was just. Gust, uh, yeah, he ran up to try an animal hand to handle it, but failed. He, he used all his move. Yeah, he used his uh, action. To, I, I used. To, I took. It took me too long to to get. Uh, I had to get around you guys. Okay, like, you know, okay, and you guys were in the way. That one. Using vault. Okay. <laughs> you gonna vault from there to the donkey? Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't wait for this roll. So, because of how agitated, and because of how complex of a move you're going for, this can this is gonna be an acrobatics or athletics check, whatever you choose, at disadvantage. Oh dear. <laughs> because you're jumping. Oh. 30 feet. This is oh, no. 20 feet. <laughs> and so as Man, you feet. vault, you guys see him jump overhead, try to land on this donkey's back. But the donkey does like a 180. Mm -hmm. And Typhon slides on his knee and lands behind the donkey. Oh, no. He's in prime face stomping location. Oh, no, still up. Not prone. And what would you like to do? Because I think that's just um, your bonus action, right? Yeah. Your movement. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I guess I can try and calm it down since I um missed. Uh, what is that? Animal handling. Is what we were using. Oh. All right. So at this point, this donkey has fucking clapped the cheeks on that thrall and sent him flying and destroyed a thrall or a stall. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not happy, and it's proving to be a lot harder to calm this one down than the uh, the one Xander was handling. And so, how did you try to, to calm it down or get it um, get regain control? I don't know. Hey there, donkey. <laughs> let's, uh, let's simmer down. Hey, hey there, little donkey. <laughs> Come on, let's simmer down. <laughs> the 
throw next to you go seriously <laughs> and then he tosses you a carrot try this you idiot <laughs> carrot. go ahead and roll again so, with advantage, so he can roll at advantage. <laughs> oh, no. oh, it's even worse. <laughs> okay, got it. Hey there, simmer down was better than carrot. No, no, you were hey there, simmer down while dangling a carrot in front of the, uh, no. the donkey's face, and that was not enough to entice the donkey to, to hey there, simmer that down. <laughs> oh no! All right, is it the end of your turn? Yeah, that's all. And as you do that, this this guy just goes, ah, you guys have it handled. And he comes Don't up, he come hops back. up on the box, and he pulls out a ridiculously long, you don't know where it came from, a uh, canteen. And he just starts drinking out of a it. It's, it's like the whistle, like, he, Yeah, he was pulled it out of his pants. You have no idea how the fuck it came, it, where the fuck it came from. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Xander. Yes, sir. You want to lead the donkey to the pen. I'm going to do that. The donkey. Just go ahead and roll. You have rapport with this donkey now. Go ahead and roll at advantage. Animal handling. Oh, yeah. Dude, he, you, you grab it by the reins and you start guiding him. Okay. How far? Can, uh, only up to... It's right here, right? Wait, where is yeah, it? Yeah, just lead it to the edge of the map and you're good. Okay. Hey, let, we'll just say you got it there. Okay, cool. And so this donkey right. is Hell like yeah. Hell pen. yeah, baby. Pacified? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Gusty. All right, so I'm going to go through and try my, my animal handling. <laughs> and I'll be like, I'll go out there and be like, simmer down, little donkey. <laughs> exactly, exactly what time was. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh Gusty. my god! What the fuck? No. For some inexplicable reason, the donkey turns around, looks at you, and calms down. And I like, I walk, I, I walk the donkey over, and I just like take one look at Typhon, and I go, "It's an animal thing." <laughs> just keep walking fast. Yeah, <laughs> and you're able to lead, just lead it out safely into the pen. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's it. We just have. Oh, this one wasn't in the initi initiative roll. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't he get like but... face stomped by the other one? Yeah, I mean, he's been fucking with this stall. So we're <laughs> well, fine. The, the stall that's under construction. <laughs> yeah, it's now now closed for renovations. Yeah, yes. You hear the hammer. So. Here, let me roll to see which which midway game was destroyed by the donkey. Give me just a second here. Oh, I hope it's not the not the strength one. It probably is the strength. No, it's one. gonna be the ring. It's gonna be rings. It's gonna be the rings. See, All the bottles. One, two. The bottles. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, no, you're right. It is. It's still the rings. Four, it's the five. same thing. Yeah, oh wait, no, it's hands. It was hands. Remember? Oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 it was. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So you're fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Um. The liquor is hitting me, go it's hitting me, boys. I'm feeling it, Mr. Grab. Uh, Oof. Um, uh, Pop Goes the Clown is the... Oh, uh, oh no, there was actual wait, people Pop there. Pop Goes the Clown? Yeah. I don't remember that one. That's the one where you shoot water into the people's mouths. Oh. Oh, shit. There was, like, five people in there then. Uh-huh. And you, you hear yelling coming from inside that tent. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God, it's in here. Not the okay. face. Oh my god. Um, your face. The uh, thrall that got bucked into the actual tent itself, the, uh, it is uh, that he's he's out cold. <laughs> he got KO'd by that donkey. All right, Avadir. All right. Avadir's just happily walking by, and he's like, hey, what's up, guys? You ready to continue? And Gusty's just like, we need to take care of the donkeys. And Avadir just goes, donkeys? <laughs> He just ends his turn. Oh no! <laughs> I, s <laughs> that was great timing, guys. That was Welcome. so good. <laughs> so good. Oh shit! What do I miss? <laughs> You're in the wow. middle of wrangling donkeys on the midway. <laughs> Glad you asked. 
<laughs> all right. Uh -huh. So to summarize, you met with Locke. Mm -hmm. He gave you the task of finding an item that will hopefully begin the repairs on the train leading out of the Revelio. Mm -hmm. And you were tasked with finding the chair, which his last known location was the Tunnel of Love. Um, the party attempted to approach the Tunnel of Love, but through magical means, the party was perceptive enough to realize that no matter how much they walked, after about 10 minutes, they were just walking past the same vendors over and over again. And so they have not been invited into the further reaches of the Revelia. So that you need to find a way to get Heckmas favor. Mm. And gain access to the Tunnel of Love. Mm -hmm. And in figuring this out, the party decided to go back to the Midway and try to make some red tickets in preparation of what's to come. And so what they witnessed was a chil some children of the candy corn. They saw the d donkeys being moved into the pin of the flail on the donkey. And... They threw firecrackers at the donkeys, with agi which agitated them, and started causing a ruckus. Um, the parties tried to step in and help deal with it, and only... It made it didn't, worse. It, it, it didn't really help, it kind of made things worse, and now you guys are trying to wrangle the donkeys before they destroy any more stalls. <clears> they just <throat> destroyed one. Mm. Um... What Avadir has done so far is he snuck in and he stole a box full of red tickets from the stall that was destroyed. Oh my and god, I really has, am evil. <laughs> has completely really ignored <laughs> the donkeys. <laughs> and that's how when you came in, Avadir and Gusty mm. were, were talking and Avadir's like, hey, you, you just walked up to Gusty and was like, hey guys. <laughs> and Gusty was like, what are you doing? We need to round up the donkeys. And Avadir responded with, what donkeys? And that's where you came in. <laughs> donkeys? Okay. All right. Can I try one. to befriend a donkey? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you know what? It is his turn, and all you, he did was move. You still have movement. Yeah, yeah you he still, still he has. Yeah, it doesn't, all, it doesn't all happen. Where? Where's uh, one of these? Yeah, yeah. That's the last one. The two others have been wrangled successfully and taken into the pen. I'm going to approach cautiously. Use my expert animal handling <laughs> skills. Can we tell him? Can we tell he, him what he, we pulled out a carrot. he pulled out a carrot. <laughs> he pulled out a carrot. He pulled out a carrot. Can we, can we tell him to use Manny? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. We went up to the donkey and just went, Hey there. <laughs> Zipper down. <laughs> exactly like that, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, I tried. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. You approached. Uh, you approached calmly. And what? What? And what did you do? I said, hey, <laughs> "You know any evil wizards around here?" <laughs> oh my! God. Oh my God! <laughs> I'll take care of them for you if you just go back to your. <laughs> oh, you gotta talk to a donkey. All right. Hold on. So you guys hear him say it in common? And then mm. you hear him say it in deep speech. <laughs> <laughs> and it startles the donkey. <laughs> uh, but it continues to to ignore you. It's begin it keeps thrashing. You see there are like five people who are stuck in this stall from their neck from their neck down because they the they're in the uh what's the name <laughs> of the game again? Pop goes the clown. Pop goes the clown. Uh, those people mm. are stuck in there with the donkey and you start seeing them get smacked around and you see people bleeding and bruised up. That's fucked up. I imagine the donkey pump, like like uh fucking back kicking them and then like the balloon pops and it says winner and then he dumps the next one and then it's winner and then he goes the next one to the balloon and winner <laughs> over and over <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> the uh, the animal handler is just uh, he's just sitting there drinking out of his ridiculously large canteen. Oh my god. 
<laughs> and he goes, congratulations! Congratulations? And then he's like, you want some? Uh, And no. he, he looks at all three of you and Han. And if he has to hold it with two hands, this thing's like four and a half feet long. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you like drink it? It's water. <laughs> Do any of you partake? Uh. Fuck it. Yeah, Gus, you'll drink. Okay. Sure. Anybody else? Uh, do I turn into a donkey? All right. Oh, no. no. Oh, thank God. Oh, I turn into a donkey. Mm. No, I'm good. So as you begin to you it, you drink this, and <laughs> as it as you it touches your your lips and your mouth, you swallow. And this man is drinking hot sauce. Ah, yeah. that's so wrong. <laughs> what? It's incredibly spicy and acidic. You take six points of acid damage. Oh my god! <laughs> and you're crying from how spicy it is, you Gusty. Six? You said six? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna walk over to Gusty. <laughs> nah, well, y you can't yet, dude. Oh, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> This is happening as you're trying to handle the dog. What the fuck? It's like Tabasco. Oh, <laughs> and he starts laughing his ass off. Fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, Xander. It's your turn. It's like All Asmodeus' right. butthole. <laughs> um, I'm going to help Avadir get this, what you call it, this donkey. <laughs> what you call okay. it? The other side. Wait, I can't. Oh, um, I okay. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna like nudge my shoulder on Avadir. I'm like, watch this. <laughs> oh no! So I I have two um, two both my hands in front I'm doing the same thing. I'm like about to pet it. Um, essentially, did the same thing with the other uh, donkey. So I'm gonna roll. Oh yeah! Watch this. Let's go. And then uh, you get its attention. And eventually, you're able to calm it down, and you also begin to pet it. Seems Xander has a natural affinity for wild animals, and they seem to trust him. Uh, and I whisper to Avdir, like, kind of like as I'm like on the ground, like petting him, like, I told you so. <laughs> Damn, it's a dog whisper. It's a dog. <laughs> Donkey whisper. <laughs> okay, so. We're just gonna go ahead and, and and just call that Xander is able to lead the donkey into the last pen. Um, Let's go, baby! And so, oops. Why'd you roll a one d ten? I'll tell you in a second. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. This is the end of the encounter. Yep. All right. Uh, hey, man. You see? Sorry. Go ahead and finish up. Then I gotta say something. Yeah. You you see everybody kind of just pop back out. As they are all kind of peeking around the corners, they're hiding in stalls, and they start. It's you start to see one person clap. It's the thrall behind you. He just starts clapping, and then everybody starts joining in. And all of a sudden, you guys are getting a, a big, a huge round of applause. Nice. Oh no, I, I take a bow. Um, I don't do that. Uh, what I do is I is I take out the first thing I just put in my bag of holding, which was this jug with ten spouts, and I can't <laughs> figure out which spout is the correct spout. So I just pop one and I start chugging. And let's see, there's ten things in there, and I rolled a one d ten. The last one on there is wine, so that's why I start drinking. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, oh, I was gonna... <laughs> oh, wait, you have the jug? Funny story <laughs> happened here. Oh, God. Uh, but before that, Manny, if I could metagame here for a sec. Sure, what's up? Um, I'm looking at Avidir's, uh stuff. And hold on, let me see if I can just throw it up there. Here we go. Don't tell anyone about my fuzzy manacle. <laughs> Uh, he's got this, which means he can add wisdom to his initiative rolls, which he hasn't been doing. So I just go ahead and, and pop that in for him. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so his, oh, I haven't been? Yeah, he's pl it's supposed oh, to be plus seven instead of plus four. So I just I modified it on his character sheet, if that's nice. okay with you, man. Okay, cool. 
Thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I start drinking warm. <laughs> anyway, you want to explain <laughs> to him how I got that joke? Yeah, um, so... I forget you guys traded it for something, right? I, I you know I what? Remember. I think he gave it to the to the ghost lady for the. Oh yes, that yeah, was, yeah, I, yeah. I just traded it to Gertrude. Yes. Yeah. So Wait, I thought we did Gertrude. it. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and so Locke ended up finding finding it in quotes, <laughs> and he sold it to Gusty. <laughs> oh my god! It was just. It was just random that he had. Yeah, it was random too. I rolled on a random loot table, and the alchemy jug just ha just happened to be the item I rolled. That's funny. that's funny. All right. So what happens if you drink a gallon of wine, Manny? I don't know. I'll delete um, it from my inventory, I guess. <laughs> go ahead and roll a, a constitution uh, a constitution check. A constant constant. Let's see. <laughs> let's check? see how well Gusty can can handle his liquor. A check or a saving throw. Um, because there's two, two different numbers. You know, let's call it a saving throw because okay. technically you're poisoning yourself. When yeah, you're right. Yeah. 14, 14. Oh, Gusty can handle his liquor. A gallon oh, okay. gets you a nice buzz, but it's not going to get you drunk. Oh, thank God. You guys don't want to see Gusty go on a drunk rampage. It would not be pretty. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to Gusty. Like better or worse. Than I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him <laughs> which of the spouts do what. <laughs> Oh, Gussie's wait, like crying. <laughs> Hold on, let me ask. Let me ask. Did did Avadir ever clean the alchemy jug? Nope. Okay, so you can see based on the crust. Of it's each still the spout. same fucking jug. <laughs> <laughs> all of them, yeah, they, they're all crusted with something. <laughs> A lot of mayonnaise use. <laughs> mayonnaise and honey was the go-to, man. <laughs> mayonnaise and honey, got it. <laughs> and sometimes salt water to troll. Got it. Okay. All right, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Well, all that's left now is to roll how many tickets were in the box. Yes. <laughs> all, right. all right. What do I roll? So let's have Avadir roll. 66 and uh i'm just gonna throw this up to you uh uh sky it wasn't mm -hmm. like i made you out to be a dick i i had you you sunning awakening on typhon who was who was prone so you did a little sure. bit of good but you also stole a box of tickets just saying it is what it is yeah <laughs> oh man oh dude <laughs> no oh, six, man 66 dude roll, roll six oh D. six d6 yeah <laughs> Not 1d66. Damn, dude. I was like, oh, man. 1d66? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, there you okay. go. 16? So you yeah. open the box, and you find yourself. It's like, essentially, I have a deer sold the jug to fucking <laughs> Gusty. You found 21 red tickets in there. <laughs> it's funny how life works that way. <laughs> circle of, of it's a circle of life. death continues. Oh, no. Yes. Is that is that NASA's line? Yeah, we will live, they will die. We will oh live, my. they will die. Oh, okay. Um so so Gusty goes up to Avadir and he's just like, Thanks, Avadir. Uh just in case you were asleep like Lucian is in the bag of holding. Um we're on our mm. way to try to find the chair at the tunnel of love, but it's not working. And we're waiting for I guess Hecna to show up and we're just gonna play some games in the meantime. I'm also yeah. considering just continuing on without him because. Uh, it's, it's up to you, man. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, it might. I might need to do the story beat myself because the next part sets everything up for chapter two. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, we'll go. We'll go ahead and do it if he shows up. Great. If not, then. All right. It's fine. It's cool. Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. show Gusty the 21 tickets that I got. Cool. It's all you, bro. Like I, I found these. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I found these lying on the ground. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> like thumbs up. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, 
<laughs> what would you all like to do now? Matt, Manny, I just I just want to tell you, if I ever play an evil character, you don't want to be in the same campaign. <laughs> I would steal so much shit. <laughs> Ro evil rogue that could fly? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Eric Croker, Eric Croker rogue, dude? Eric mm, unfulfilled potential. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. Uh, owling, owling, owling rogue, yeah. uh, my next character idea. Hmm. All of a sudden, the king's crown is gone. Who knows what happened? <laughs> I'd play a dragonborn rogue. Dragonborn rogue. It wasn't. Blah. This is breath weapon. <laughs> That's not how you pick locks. It is in my world. Okay. So what's the what's the next step? Uh, you, so are we? Oh, my bad, Avidy. I'm just moving you around. Are you good? Uh, uh, so we go tunnel of love, or we keep playing? We got. Let's go tunnel of love. Oh, Let's try a tunnel of love. Okay. Sorry, sorry. So, what did you say, Ryan? Tunnel of love. You like eating something? <laughs> yeah, I'm moving back for battle. Gotcha. All right. Let's do it, Manny. Okay. So, as you all finish and all, with all the clambering and commotion, um, you guys all see. There's a uh, you hear in the background after all the clapping, you begin to hear somebody yelling at the top of their lungs. Yelling, Hecna! Where are you, Hecna? And as you look down the midway, you guys, you guys all see Pinky. You haven't seen her since you first entered. Mm hmm. And. She looks slightly different this time. A little worse for wear? Um, as you recall, you had given a token to Pinky, which had done something to her. And now, as you see her, you can see that her clown makeup is smeared. Ooh. Um, it looks like by her by her hands, you can see the paint on her hands. The expression on her face is no longer happy or lucky or happy go lucky and aloof. She's now very serious. Oof. And her mouth is tensed up in a thin line. And she's swinging around a wagon spoke. You know the ones that are that you know they hitch the the horses to. Um, she's swinging one of those around like a pole arm, um, and it's painted gold and purple. Oh! Um, and she's leaping up, and she starts smashing it into the stalls, breaking everything as she approaches you all. And she goes, "Heck no! Where are you?" And then you see, as a crowd has gathered further in front of you. And you can see the tall, lanky figure in front of you. And Pinky is on her unicycle and she speeds past all of you. As Pinky swings. And... At this point, you see Hecna suddenly appear in front of all of you, right? As she's rearing back and she's preparing to charge like a medieval horse joust. Um, as she zooms past you, you see Hecna suddenly appear. And you hear a clap. Hecna brings his hands together and the ground underneath you twists and tears suddenly you are no longer in the midway and you feel the reality around you begin to tear whirlwind of furious magic you are whisked away Hecna oh. caught up in his defiance begins to form a face of pure hatred and 
anger on his face. It's the first time you've ever seen seen him like this. He looks feral. And you find yourself frozen in place. And you can only simply just witness the events before you unfold. Hecna's teleportation of your your party was accidental. Trapping all of you in the very air of his demiplane until he notices you. In the laboratory, you see a woman at what appears to be a butcher station. And the toy maker is present as well. At their workstation, near Sophie's with Stefano. You are frozen in a cavernous windowless room. A teleportation circle visible beneath you. The air is cool, but the scent is soured and foul. Several vats of substances that resemble blood, wax, and bile gurgle and burp, releasing bubbles with noxious fumes into the air. A huge shelving unit cover an entire wall and is laden with books, tools, beakers, vials, jars, containing small organic creatures at various stages of preservation and scientific apparatus. In front of the shelves is a long wooden workbench stained with blood and opaque wax of various skin tones, green, pink, brown. A large machine makes the room shudder and quake. Wax figures model after creatures of different shapes and sizes. Humans, dwarves, elves, orcs, and more are hung on hooks around the laboratory. At one bench is a human woman. Her lab coat stained and blood with blood and wax. Her red frizzy hair is scraped back from her face by the round goggles obscuring her eyes. Hecna's hand on her shoulders on her shoulder bunches the material of her coat with the tightness of his grip. And the two of them are focused on Pinky, who is hanging upside down over a bubbling pit and unconscious. Oh. At the other bench is the toy maker. Paused with their hammer raised over the half built body of a marionette, with Stefano perched on the edge of the bench. The toy maker notices you all, and he quickly signs to Stefano Mr. Hecna, you have guests! Hecna's. Oh. He, you see his face snarl as he turns. And so, and he, his facial expression changes as Sophie puts his hand on top of his. And she says, I'll get rid of the rats. You choose which machine you want me to use on the traitor. Sophie looks at Stefano and the toy maker. Get the vermin out. I have actual work to do with this Duke project. Hecna snaps his fingers. And turns back to Pinky and Sophie's bench. Releasing the players from what now you've realized you've been trapped you had been trapped in that magical teleportation circle. The toy maker and Stefano quickly motion to you. And they they start heading towards a door. You all follow. You begin to see that this is somewhere you haven't been before. There are a lot of people in this crowded laboratory. And you are quickly out of Hecna's sight and his ire. And as you leave... Stefano, Stefano begins to talk as, as the toy maker signs. And he says, Hagra can teleport to any of his lieutenants. It's a powerful skill, and only he can do it. But he only really does it when he thinks he's in danger. And then, after a quick series of signs, The toy maker uh, the the toy maker finishes, and Stefano goes. Seeing as you're able to come in here, you can probably check out the rest of the stuff now in this part of the dismay uh, around the dismadium. 
So, uh, feel free to explore. Okay. Ditto. Okie dokie. Wow. Time to go to the love tunnel, buckos. So we're the toy maker tunnel, stops. And he motions for the rest of you to follow Stefano as Stefano continues forward. Yeah. Go to Stefano's. And then, do any of you uh, want to do anything before you take off? Is... Are we? Do we know where we are in the on the Revelia map? Not yet. Because no. we're inside of like some kind of laboratory, as what it sounded yes. like. Yes, you're and... in a laboratory, but you're not aware of where it is yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything? Wait, we're in a laboratory. Can I search if there's anything? You can do a quick cursory search, a quick investigation. Fuck. Because oh, of the pace shit. that the toy maker and Stefano are ushering you out of the laboratory, you're not able to get a good look. Okay. And it, you're not able to take in all the details because you're you're trying to get out. That makes sense. Uh, is there anything that stands out that I could grab on that I can grab with me? Any like like uh, like maybe uh, tools or weapon, some you know. Like I could just go grab and then like keep keep walking or like that we're gonna pass by. It's a laboratory, right? So uh, I just yeah, mean like roll at disadvantage. Okay. An investigation check to see if you catch anything. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. You you're you're just quickly uh, moving. Hold on. No, no, no. I, I don't find anything. Tunnel vision. And as you move out, Stefano, there's he his head turns full 180 oh, as he shit. continues to watch the toy maker with his last message, right? And he nods and he turns his head back, continues running forward as you all follow. And then he says, "It's not safe to talk in the fun house. You know, you you know where you know where to meet him." Okay. And so. He leads you to the end of a hall, makes a sharp left. He opens a door. And in this room, there's a tunnel. It's dark. And Stefano motions for you all. This is the way out! Okie dokie. Uh, he's showing us, right? He's not, he's not leading us through this tunnel? No. Okay, so uh, I, I gesture everyone, all right, let's go. We go down the tunnel. And as you jump in through the tunnel, you quickly feel yourselves on a slide. In the tunnel, there's a light that quickly brings you outside. And you begin to realize that you are sliding out of the funhouse that was in the distance. Oh, that's what that is. Look, guys, no hands. So we're, we're sliding out of the tongue? Yes. <laughs> wow. Mm. What can do I, I taste like? Can I, can I like, can I like push Lucian's face on the tongue? <laughs> <laughs> As I'm sliding, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> give him like a like a, the mass the the biggest cowlick he's ever had. <laughs> Jesus. And so you are now all standing in front of the fun house, but the further you stare, the further it seems to to move away from you. That's some crazy magic. Or maybe there was something in that alchemy jug. And you now have access to the Dismadium. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, so we're standing in front of Hecna's huge face. Yes, so if I were to bring you back to the map, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Where are we standing? Right here. Right We're standing right here. Oh, right at the... Okay. Well, we can't go into the funhouse, right? No, so we right. can't. That's, yeah. So we're oh, no. right here. All right. So, all right. Tunnel of love. Yeah, so let's head to the tunnel of love. 
Can we go to the misery go around, please? Nope. <laughs> it but is I wanna. I wanna. <laughs> Don't you guys wanna ride some rides? Misery go around. I mean, I That's guess right I, we, I guess we could we, on our way we could stop and peek and see what's that, what's what's it about. Nope. Nope. I mean, we have nope. to. No, we nope. passed by it anyway. Nope. <laughs> Do you have like some kind of phobia? Like Typhon, are you afraid of merry-go-rounds? Oh no, absolutely not. Th then what's? He doesn't even know what a merry-go-round is. We are on a mission. We are gonna stick to it. No sidetracks. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Typhon. <laughs> Who quotes? I'm quotes. I'm, I'm, a man of focus. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the tunnel of. Tunnel yep. of love. Yep. Tunnel of love. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love how it's a beating heart. <laughs> it's probably fake. Probably. So as you approach. A glittering sign that reads Tunnel of Love marks the entrance to this ride. Under the opening through which a blood red river flows. To the right is a dock where swan shaped boats cluster together, bobbing in on the undulating waters. The area around the right is busy and laughter and shouts echo from inside the dark tunnels. A pair of giggling revelers holding hands aboard a small boat are carried by the current into the darkness. As you approach, the Tunnel of Love is an anatomical correct reconstruction of a human heart. Oh. Let me show you a picture of what it looks like. Uh, da, da, da. Where did I put it? Oh, wow. Oh. oh. That's pretty cool. Huh. Someone casually running in the background. <laughs> yeah, looks like heart. one of those blue dragon fuckers. So, you notice that its external walls are made of deep crimson stone. But it is like wet with a red condensation on it you see revelers getting on to ge the, the the geese uh, the small geese boats as they continue to float into the tunnel itself interesting all right hey i got a question for you manny yeah. How far we're we're standing if on the map we're standing right here, right? Or like right here? Or yeah, you're somewhere along the bank here. All right. Um, so before I turn here, how far is it from here to the? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I forget what you called it, but it's basically the main road. Yeah, yeah, the main. Yeah. How far are road. we? How far are we from here to here? Would you say? Uh, I'd say all the grounds from edge from that edge to the uh, middle is about ten minutes. 10 minutes? Hmm. Let's see. How much is that in feet? Uh, that would, let's say, from, let's say from the heart to the uh, petting zoo. Mm-hmm. This it feels like it spans almost a mile. A mile. Now, so, huh? okay. about 15 to 20 minutes to trek across the whole thing. Now, what is a mile in feet? 5,300, roughly. 50. Three hundred. Okay. Let's see. I can shoot six hundred feet with my longbow. How far can I reach with that? Here. Yeah, um, from right here. Here, anywhere around the heart. Uh, what about out here? Out here, it's probably here, this stretch right here. That between. stretch. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Maybe a little less. Gotcha. Yeah. 
the uh, tunnel of love is really really it's big. a track okay yeah it's big it's hum it's it's humongous <laughs> all right all right all right what would you like to do to answer that question but you've already pretty much answered it I can't do what I want so that's fine <laughs> were you trying to shoot the were you trying to shoot Magnanimo shop again yeah <laughs> <laughs> just like randomly shooting an arrow in that direction what are you doing ah uh, just makes you feel better <laughs> oh my god not a kid <laughs> oh well all right um so there are revelers going in through the boats right <coughs> yes uh how how many people do the boats fit does it look like it fits like a party of six or four or three or what what's up uh there's actually an answer to that let me see yeah because this is going to determine like do we have to go in pairs or can we all just go in one boat you know what i mean Um, I like to go in pairs, and I'm going to uh, volunteer me and Gusty in one of them. Oh. Hold on, Manny, there... Manny's finding the answer to the to how many. Oh, okay. I still volunteer you and I. Oh my god, dude! As a as a duo. I mean, I mean, in the in the picture, I think you can see this four in the picture, and then it, it looks like Lucian falling outside the boat. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we I think it's four people. It is four. For okay. This, for the for the purposes of this encounter, for now, we're not going to count Lucian towards the player. Yeah, count. yeah, he's in the bag of holding. We can. We can yeah, fit. he's in the bag of holding. So we can he, fit him. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, so you'd only need one boat to, to as, enter the Tunnel of Love as, as a group. As much as I'm flattered, Xander, maybe we should go as a group. Oh, <laughs> we can go as we we can go as four. Oh, I thought it was only two. I'm trying to play it off as if like obviously. You know. <laughs> wait, wait. Does this cost tickets? I wonder. Is there someone taking tickets? Um, you do see two people who are who look like they're the showstoppers. Oh, they're okay. The ones who are handling the ride up uh, ahead. All right, let's go. Is there a line? Do we just? It, it's a there is a line, but it's very short. Ah, okay. Um, you see I... two. Let me make sure what they are. Oh, we'll just call them. Well, we'll call them. Uh, we'll call them gnomes. Uh, zim you see two gnomes in matching tuxedos. Um, as they refer to each other as my jolly Jamaru, and uh, as you approach, let's see, just trying to make sure if there is a uh, cost to this ride. Uh, we're gonna say this is probably the only free ride in the entire good, park. Good. Hell yeah! Good because I don't um, have tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and so, as you approach, you see them welcome you. Welcome, lovebirds, to the tunnel of love. And then another one. Yes, we finally. All right, we're able to reopen after Cicero's temper tantrum. We were finally able to ha get enough blood to refill the river. Oh, God, I almost spit out my drink. Did you say blood? Yes. Is that, like, organic or fake? Oh, it's all 100% organic, my love. Okay. Now... Will it be all four of you? Wait, who's Cicero? Ah! Cicero? Well, he's the one that broke Hecna's heart. 
He betrayed him, and it was hideous. So Hecna did the sensible thing and had Cicero's heart torn from him. I'm sure Cicero will tell you all about it. He does like a good winch. Serves him right for what he did to poor Hecna. Yeah! If you want to see Cicero, he still wanders around in this place. Really? Where does he frequent? Oh, you'll find him near the end. Oh, okay. That's absolutely terrifying. Uh, boat for four? Right, guys? Right? Looking at the party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm All down. right this way, my wonderful friends. And one of the gnomes walks over, holds the boat. One of them holds the boat steady oh, so it doesn't float. It's no longer, they're no longer floating. Pop by. Mm -hmm. um, and the other one helps you all board the uh, the boat. Um, awesome. And so as you get on, you see that they're in the form of swans. Um, I know a couple of you have a passive perception of at least 13. Mm -hmm. Yep, 15. And you notice that there are two painted teeth marks that resemble what looks like a vampire's bite on the necks of these wooden swans. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, and sense. as you are, you sit down. You see one of them it says, "I'm Dimples," and the other says, "I'm Freckles." And then the first one says, keep your appendages in the boat, your blood within your bodies, and your heart behind your ribs at all times. Raleigh Ruvor opens. And as you do, you hear both of them cackle in a wicked grin. Begins to crease their face. And they let the boat go. They both blow kisses in your direction and wave goodbye. I'm gonna blow one back. <laughs> and one of them catches it. Soon, the light behind you from the moon begins to slowly dissipate. And you enter the tunnel. It is dark. But up ahead, you see a, you see a red light. That seems to give everyone a uh, vision. Okay. All right. Let's see. I, I can't think... see shit. Yeah, give me a second. Now, I should be able to... Permissions, all players. I, do you guys still not see anything? Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, it's black. Yeah. Still are we, black. Are we, do we have tokens here? I... Made you all the... Owner of the boat token. Boat token. Hopefully that should... Uh, we have to select the boat, then. How do I do that? Put it on the map for you to see. I don't know. If... Can you put it into initiative real quick for me, Manny? If it's possible? Yeah. Now, if I select the boat... Well, I have the boat selected, but I still can't see shit. <laughs> okay, so I will just stack your tokens on top of it. Okay. Before I do that, did I reset the... You do not own any tokens of vision in this scene. Does the boat have vision? Oh, there. I see something. Oh, yep. I still see nothing. 
Uh, oh, I see. I see. All Manny's right. adding us in right now. So, do not move your tokens. Yeah, hold on. Yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see it. Um. So you're all here, and then just we'll keep the for the purposes of clarity. The boat is going to be your. That's going to be you guys. Okay. So you guys are currently in the tunnel of love. Okay. And that's you guys. So as you enter, tunnel opens into a white chamber with walls that almost appear rubbery. Oh, hold on. I got to change it up. Actually, got a tunnel, a love tunnel song. Ooh, we got a love. Oh. Ooh. Is it central? <laughs> No, the, essential. as you enter, the music changes, right? So, it's made of crudely molded plastic. A skylight lets in a beam of sunlight. One of you is able to move the boat? I am, because you gave me ownership, but I don't see, I have vision from it. Okay, all right. So, oh, is it because the boat doesn't have vision? Ah, that makes sense. Okay, here we go. What about Ooh. now? Can you see from the boat? No, I still can't see from the boat. Here, let me oh, change. Fuck. Yep. All right, never mind. Um, so then we'll just keep keep it like this. We'll just move the player tokens behind the boat. Okay. Um. So the the Revelia's lights ebb as you enter the ride and the swan, the swan boat bobs lazily on the river. The boat carries you down a dark tunnel. Several lit torches line the wall crater a somber ambience. The walls are papery with red condensation like sticky glue holding shreds of paper mache to the surface. The skylight lights in a beam of sunlight illuminating a red waterfall that trickles down the cavern wall into a pool. Sitting around the pool are three beautiful creatures all splashing with their fins and combing their long black hair with jeweled combs. They turn to you in syncopation and, smi and smile and begin to sing. So now you guys are like drifting down the tunnel. I am going to need... Man, this song just turned ominous. So, what would you like to do? Uh, so we're listening to these people, they're like mermaids or something, right? Like sing. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we're still floating along, so I don't. As long as they don't attack us, we should be good, right? Just I'm gonna plug song. my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll just take the dodge action, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, be right back real quick. <laughs> what you doing, Typhon? Oh, sneezing. Oh. Um... Sorry. I I guess I'm not really doing anything. I don't know. You're just chilling? Just chilling. Alright. I'm going to need you all to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh my. <laughs> you been, so you been have it here? Wow. We're well. going to kiss each other. We're going to kiss each other. Oh we? no. <laughs> We're kissing each other. Oh fuck me. You know, this was the best session for Friday to miss. He would have. I made, know, right? This would this would have been so weird. He would have been touching <laughs> himself just just so that way. Well, no, actually, he wouldn't be touching himself because he wanted to fail it so he can kiss people. Oh God. Uh. I I mean, we rolled pretty well, I think. Not Typhon. I mean, it's still fourteen. Okay. Is Avidir not gonna roll? I think he said be right back. Oh, yeah. Here. Uh... Can someone roll for him? 
No, hey. no, he's here. Let him, let him, let him come back. Wake me up. There you go. Inside. Yo, Sky. Oh, I'll make you inside. What did I miss? Uh, right. roll, roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. Oh my god, these people keep spamming me. Holy fuck, man. Leave me alone. Oh no. Keep spamming me on Discord. Yeah, you're definitely... You're kissing... You're kissing Typhon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Fuck. What's... Well, Alright, I'm metagaming a little bit here. Uh, right. Do any of you remember what the fucking D&D &D version of a fucking siren is? Uh, I no. <laughs> uh, I guess oh, I'll just fuck. The... Uh, I guess I'll just use the sea hag. Whee! Like oh my god! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Alright. Uh, Avadir. Despite <laughs> your efforts to plug your finger, your ears with your fingers, <laughs> you forgot that you also can see them. And as they sing, you begin to be pulled by their allure. Oh no. No. And at first, they seem extremely beautiful. But the rest of you are able to shake off their attempts to enchant you and you see them for the ugly wretches that they are <laughs> beer goggles a hell of a thing <laughs> you see the the, uh, the sirens transform from these striking beautiful women to monstrous ones with razor like talons and mouths filled with pointed teeth Avadir you fall prey to their song of and course. you, <laughs> you jump in oh, into the water, fuck. in all in between <laughs> all of them. Wait, does he fall? Uh, like, how deep is the water? Like, did he fall all the way down or what? Okay, so what you see is a pool, mm -hmm. and it is deep enough to swim in. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. So prior to this, you could tell, you could easily see the. The, the bottom, this. yeah, the bottom of the water. But as you entered this part of the, this section, you could see that it opens up to a pool. Mm. And now this is where the sirens have tried to entrap you. Gotcha. So, yeah. So okay, I see. So it's like an oval. We we like float it down, and there's like an oval, and that's a pool, and that's where the sirens are. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I understand now. All right. So we're gonna roll some initiatives here. Oh no. Wait, so if we beat the check, do we just keep going? Is that what happened? Uh, no, they would have gotten angry that you didn't find them beautiful and attacked oh. you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh. look, look at that, 4 plus 3, there you go. Wow, I finally rolled better than like 8. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think you need a roll, Elmo? No, oh. you already rolled. That's weird. Uh, Here, no, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, there you go. I thought I rolled. That's my bad. Okay. So you got you all see Avadir jump in. Okay. Between all of them. One of them grabs him and it looks like it's about to kiss him and her jaw just goes wide. No. It just bites into him. You take twenty oh. points of damage. Oh shit. Okay, I'm dead. What? Wait, really? Are you dead? I'm not dead. I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm dead inside. Okay, Manny, oh. now, now does he look like he's enjoying himself? Or does he, is he like... He Ugh. looks... His eyes still look completely glazed. Oh, shit. Content. I'm content. He's like, it's like the most pleasurable thing he's ever felt. Like, oh, no. Yeah. You Wait. See, you see it. You see a chunk of his cheek just get ripped off of him as she continues to bite into his shoulder. Wait, Avadir, oh, yeah. you have a family. <laughs> Not anymore. He's cheating. <laughs> He's cheating. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, Gusty, it's your turn. So you Not guys are starting here on the boat. Uh, right here. Uh, okay. Um. There. So are we are we this compacted in here, or how how is this? Mm -hmm. So you on on the boat, you have limited movement. You would have to jump into the pool to get into melee combat with them. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go up and uh, which is the one that bit him? Hold on, hold on, I can just check. Oh, it's this one, right? This one bit him. Uh, the or, one that, yeah. Or are we right. just doing this in theater of their mind? How is this working? 
Yeah, yeah, it's this one that bit him. Okay, yeah. So I'm I'm here, right? Yeah. So I just I'll just go up to him and uh I should be like, hands off. <laughs> That's my ranger. Okay. So <laughs> Now, for I imagine none of you have a swimming speed, right? No, but I have a water walking speed. No. Oh, you have yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I forgot you had a potion, right? No, I have a ring. Oh, you have a ring. Okay, perfect. All right. So you're not affected by this. No. But... <laughs> so you know. Melee attacks. If you do not have a swim speed, are at a disadvantage if you're fighting in water. Ranged attacks cannot hit past your normal weapon range. So it would be the first number. Mm -hmm. So in That's this good. case, it would be like for Xander, your crossbow, you can hit accurately up to 100 feet, which isn't going to affect you in here, but just so you guys are aware. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But it'll automatically miss if you try to shoot past the 100 foot mark. Mm -hmm. If you try okay. to shoot water. Okay, so now that we're aware, Gusty jumps in. Yeah, you all ex you all expect a splash as he jumps off the boat, and this man just starts walking on water and rushes the hag, which catches the, all of them off guard. As they the two that aren't pay the two that are, aren't biting into avid, you're looking. They look and they're like really surprised. They're like, "Huh? What the fuck?" And they're just like, "I grab. I like. They're, they're she's like almost hugging him, right? So I like Gusty yes. runs up and like." Shoulder, one shoulder, one grabbing, like, well, I have to put my shield, I guess, because I don't have an open hand. But I, like, use my shield to push um, Avidir back just a little bit, and then I grab the hag and, like, pull her off. And then I'm just like, B hands off! And then I punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a hit. Uh, nine damage. Okay. And then... I don't know, like, where do I have that? Do I have that? Yes. And then this will just do extra damage. So six. So that's fifteen damage. I just read that unarmed strikes are actually considered weapon attacks. So as you um, the first strike hits her, she lets out a yelp. <laughs> Right, as she let, her maw lets go of Abadir, and the second one you punch her, and it just, it, she kind of it look, almost fit, looks like she loses balance, and if she hadn't been in water, it looked like she might have fallen over. Awesome. Yeah, she let her jaw, but she's no longer biting into Abadir. All right, all right, Typhon. You're starting in the same spot, right there, They're on the boat. Right there. Um. Right here. I got. I'm... Which one just got smacked? This one right uh, here. One above us, yeah. That one there. What happened to it again? Sorry. So, <laughs> uh, Gusty jumped out of the boat, and instead of falling into the water, as you would normally expect, he has a ring of water walking, so he just walked across oh. the water surface and punched this uh, sea hag in the face. Okay. And the rest of us are still in the boat. Xander, or... Yes. Yeah. Oh, here, let me uh, put it. Sorry, the layout is a little. Yeah, it's 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 compact in here. <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna try and whack the same one. How high are the ceilings? Not very high. I think they're. I think it was 20 feet. Man, okay. that's pretty high. Pretty. Yeah, it's 20. Pretty high. All right, so I'll jump up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna jump in the water and smack her? Yeah. Um, the roll will be made at disadvantage, so go ahead and roll, roll one more time. Okay, yeah. one more time for... That's still it. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Dragon Boy is just gonna fly. Yeah. And attack. Uh, god, I have to do that every time. For some reason it won't let me put bite on my Your macro, macro bar. bar. Yeah. Because it says that I don't own a unit that has bite. 
And that's have you tried? Weird. Have you tried doing that while you have Raijin selected? Yes. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, is it? It's normal, right? It's not a disadvantage. Yeah, for him, it's normal. Okay. Was that hit? Yes. And that's it. That's all. Okay. Now. Typhon, as you're the first one to jump in. Oh, yes. I need you to roll. The, a perception check. My oh. name, this is like real blood, right? Um, you don't have the presence of mind oh, to okay. not you're... swallow the water that has just entered your mouth. Water? Oh, and it needs water. you to roll. A constitution save. Oh, fuck. This is that popcorn shit all over again. <laughs> it's that popcorn shit all over again. It's like, oh, let's all eat the popcorn, guys. Yeah. You quickly realize that it's probably a good idea to not swallow any more of the water. <laughs> and now you're aware that swallowing any more can be potentially dangerous. So is it like... Is it like bleach? Like pool water? <sighs> you don't know yet. No, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm asking Ryan. Yeah. Wait, what did you ask me? <laughs> Is it like bleach water? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh no, it definitely tasted like blood. That much, that much, you'd be able to tell them <laughs> if you wanted to divulge that information. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make. Uh... Ah, 15 feet uh, high. Okay. Um, kind of like Murloc sounds. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, it doesn't sound pleasant, at least. Okay. All right. All right, Avadir. Yep. The pain of that bite. Was it enough? Go ahead and roll your wisdom saving throw again. Uh, it is enough to pull you back into reality, and you find yourself in a pool of Oh my of god, I have a family. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying! Alright, so now you're, you, uh, you're, you return back to normal, and you, you're able to take your turn so, as normal. So, so how high is the water compared to, like, Typhon and Avidir? Is it, like, up to their waist? Is that what I'm... Uh, the water here, you have to swim to stay up above oh, it. it. Oh, okay. It is a pool of water. It is a pool. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm sorry. I, I yes, understand yes. what you mean now. Yeah, I'm going to swim back to the boat. <laughs> paddle, paddle, okay. paddle, paddle. Do you have, like, some kind of weird animal swim? Because you're a ranger? No. I think... I'd have to check. I feel like, like I get... You like owlbear stroke or something? Uh... Uh, you can roll, roll me an athletics or acrobatics acrobatics check. How good of a swimmer are you, dude? I'm uh, it'll be, I guess it'd be athletics, right? It'd be a, I'm, I'm gonna uh, backstroke. Do a backstroke? Back. Show off. Ooh. Okay. So. He's like a fish. He's like a dolphin. Both of the hags. Oh no, it's all three of them actually. Okay, so you're able to swim past two of them without being struck, but the one that had munched into you takes a swipe as you try to escape from their from their immediate grasp. You take a uh, ten damage, ten slashing damage. Homewrecker. She really wants you. <laughs> she you really wants you back. <laughs> All right. You still have your action. What would you like to do? Uh, am I back at the boat? Yes, you made it back to the boat. Can I shoot at the one that bit me? Oh yeah, go for it. What were the penalties again? Or there weren't? Or if you're in the, water, uh, in the water, it's only if you're in the water. Yeah, if you're in the water, there's a penalty. Okay, they're both hits. Oops.
He swim so Avenir swims out, pulls himself up in a flash, his bow comes out, two arrows get loosed, and you just see as the hag had this grin on her face, an arrow hits her in the mouth and in the eye. As her head cocks back and she falls into the water and begins oh. to sink. Oh god. You're just refilling the pool, dude. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, Xander, it's your turn. Great. Um, I'm gonna attack this hag right here. Uh, um, we'll do normal. We won't do anything too crazy. That's a hit. Also a hit. 17, 15. All right. And my turn, obviously. And as those crossbow bolts slam into the hag, she takes one look in your direction, and it's this intense look of hatred. I'm going to need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Fuck. You cannot avert your eyes. And all it took was a split second for you two to make eye contact. Xander, you lose consciousness and are now at zero HP. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Shit. That was worse than the bite, dude. Jeez. <laughs> what just happened? God you just damn made, it. You made eye contact, dude. And it was Hormone City all over again. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the fuck? Hormone King, the Hormone King. Oh fuck no! <laughs> and she swit, she takes, she dives under the pool. Oh no, she's coming for that. Away <laughs> from view. Now at this point, I, I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I mentioned if the uh, boat had an anchor or not. No. Okay, mm. so it has an anchor. And at this point, I want to ask, did you guys drop anchor before, or do you want to keep just floating down the river? Uh... I mean... Mm. Uh, Avatar jumped out of the boat. It had an I mean, okay. Here's my logic. If Avatar jumped out of the boat, and we and our characters knew that the boat had an anchor, we probably would have hit that shit, right? Yeah. Uh, the, so guys? I'm asking... Guys at the party? Yeah. Are we in agreement with this? I yeah. can't even resp I can't respond. No, no, I mean, yeah, but before, like, you were awake <laughs> when this shit happened, bro. This is, this is medic. Yeah, this is medic question. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm asking. Oh, like, yes, we would yes, have done yes, that, right? right? So, yeah. Yeah, okay, yes. yeah, so yeah, we dropped the anchor. Okay, so you drop anchor. Your boat will not move from, so that's your current position for now. Then. Okay. Okay. So with all of you on the boat, this one swims forward about 10 feet. And it just looks at Avadir this time. I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh. The same oh, intense fuck. look of hatred. And what? Oh no! And Avadir, you also fall unconscious <laughs> okay. with zero HP. Okay. Sure. Dives underwater. Gusty, it's your turn. <sighs> uh. Okay, hold on. Gusty's the only one off the boat. Let me. Uh, yeah. So you're here. Everybody else is here. Now, uh, did they have to move into range of me to do this? <clears throat> uh, mm, no. The one. They dove straight down. Okay. Let's see. Uh. 
So it was more like as they glared and the spell took effect, they began to go underwater. Right. As they approached you, yeah. Shit. I don't know what this spell does. Uh, Typhon is on, in the... Where is Typhon right now? In the water. Mm, that's not good. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna go back to the boat and try to wake one of them up. If I can, does it, does it work? Like if I shake them? Oh no, they are unconscious. Oh fuck. They look like they've been drained. Like their skin looks pale. It looks like they've been drained of life. What the fuck? Uh, They're I still breathing, but. Can I medicine? Can I medicine check to figure out what just happened? Yes. Sixteen. Uh, you know, it was magical. Lovely. <laughs> and this wasn't a physical uh, injury, uh, but it looks like it was some kind of life drain spell. Can I okay. unconsciously let out a soft moan? No, nah, dude. That's so wrong. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, sure. That's my money. Okay. All right. Typhon, it's your turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna uh, try and get out of the water and back into the boat. Okay. Um, and you approach the boat, nothing happens. But the two hags might still be around, you're not sure. You eyes are welcome to try and I spot them. And it's just up to you as to what you'd like to do. Is there anything else? What else can I do? After getting into the boat, you still have an action. You still, oh okay, yeah. You still have movement. It, I would say it took about 10, 15, Well, let's call it, we'll call it, fifteen feet of movement. So you still have half your movement and an action and a bonus action. Okay, can I try and find them then? Yeah, go ahead and roll a, a perception check. Oh no. The dimly lit nature of this attraction makes it difficult to see them. But you can tell they're still circling. The ripples in the water give away their presence. So you know they're still around. Um, can I... Like, would I be able to reach them with my reach weapon if I were to just kind of like take a random... Harpoon the fuck out of them. them. Yeah. Go ahead and roll at disadvantage. You're going to take your best guess as to where they are, yeah? Yeah. Oh. You swing swiftly and it, across the near the uh, edge of the boat and you make contact with something. Go ahead and roll damage. Damn. Fucking Tom, Tom Hanks over here. Hell yeah. <laughs> well said. Okay. All right. Anything else? No. Uh, Raijin. Who's in the water right now? Gusty is standing on the water next to the boat. Uh, didn't I have to get into the boat to check the guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you, yeah so I got out. Everybody, everybody is everyone. in the boat. Yeah. Everybody's in the boat. Everybody is in the boat. Yes, yeah, everybody with the exception yes. of Raijin. Yes, how, how conductive is blood? <laughs> That's a good question. Let Let's actually look up. Is, is iron a good a conductor of electricity? Is blood, oh, blood, yeah, iron is. Is. Like blood and, I don't is know blood like what else is blood. The total amount of iron in the blood is relatively low. It is also bonded inside large insulating molecules, hemoglobin, so it does not conduct electricity. Water in our veins and skin oh. conducts electricity, ex especially since we're... Salty inside, 0.6% salt. Is blood Damn. inductive? <laughs> well, blood is like like a percentage of water, isn't it? 
Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out, right? The, so does blood conduct and electricity? Yes, blood conducts electricity because it contains salt and water as its constituents, and salt is an electrolyte. Salt presents... Uh, Salt's presence in blood ionizes the conduct uh, electricity through the blood. Yes, you yeah. could conduct electricity. Well, as it has electrolytes, of course it's going to have electricity. Dude, <laughs> <Dude>, job. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, dude, that's what gonna... Gatorade is. <laughs> Drinking electricity. <laughs> he's going to pick a random spot on the water and just fucking lightning breath. Oh right? my god. It's easy yes. companion. I'll allow you to pick what square. Where is he? He's just gonna go right below where he is. Oh, right below? Yeah. Okay. Go <laughs> back. I'm a charge in my laser. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Did we find the other one? Now, as you. As Raijin lets out the crackling energy from his mouth, you see the back of behind you guys, you see the tunnel light up. And you see the cheap plastic and its dull, decaying state. And you see the sparks crackle and skip along the surface of the blood. At first, you don't see anything. And after a couple of seconds, you begin to hear gurgling in front of the boat. And you see the body of the hag float up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, get wrecked. Face down. Dead. Alright. Avatar, I'm gonna need a dead saving. No, you said zero. Oh yeah, he's unconscious, you're right. Never mind. Off that shit, Manny. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had anybody death save. I'll, I'll protect my allies even if I have to throw the rule book at you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't go, ahead roll, go ahead and roll for consciousness. Let's see if you can wake up. Uh, which one's that? Just, uh, just a 1d20. 1d20. Bam! Bam! Oh my God! I'm awake. The thought, the thought of your family keeps you from slipping under, dude. Holy shit. I whispered myself, Vin Diesel was right on. <laughs> Diesel? <laughs> Vin Diesel. <laughs> family is all that matters. Alright. So you spring back up to consciousness, but that'll be the extent of your turn. So, so hold okay. on. Is he at sure. full HP now? No, he's he's at one. Oh no! One? Okay. You feel exhausted, like you feel like you just ran. You've been awake for that, two, three days. That is a shitty spell. Oh no. <laughs> um, but it's more like phys It's physical, right? It, mm -hmm. It's not. It's not mental fatigue, but you just feel like you've been through a ringer. So like one you HP. Like shit. Is that yeah. what? You're... Okay. Yeah, he's at one All HP. Right. All right, Xander, go ahead and roll a 1d20. You also spring back to consciousness. Let's go, baby. You feel like absolute shit. 1 HP yeah, it is. HP. Oh my. And as they both spring to consciousness, you all turn your attention to them. You begin to hear the sound of the siren's song begin to echo and permeate throughout the tunnel once more. I'm going to need you all to give me another wisdom. Uh, do we get advantage because we already know? Of course not. Oh, thank God. Fuck. Well, thank fucking God. Oh, well, I love how Manny has induced fear in, uh, into us with wisdom. Dude, this is, <laughs> this is the first room. This is the first room. And we got half wiped. Just like so you know, I didn't create this module or the encounters. What I is did this? adjust them so they're more appropriate for your level. That I will take credit for. 
Um, Gusty. Mm -hmm. You're the only one who succumbs to the effect of the siren song this time, and you immediately turn around, and as you do, you are allured. You, you're, you're pulled you're towards the the siren sure. song. All right. Uh, go up. so at the end of your turn, you're gonna you'll be able to re-roll, but okay. you jump off the boat. Lovely. <laughs> oh no! And you start and you swim to you swim to her. Yeah. So you're right, oh, you're right next to her. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, or I, actually, be. Well, yeah, it was my what? turn. It's my turn. I was right yeah, up yeah, next. Go ahead and roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and saving roll. throw, you said, right? Yeah. It's a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. No, you're still under its. Uh, it's enchantment. Now reroll again. Okay. And as you're swimming toward the siren, you're able to shake off its effects. <laughs> My once a day reroll. <laughs> All right. Really hope I don't regret that later. All right. Typhon. It's your turn. So everything's dead, or is there still one? There's one left. Yeah. There's one left. All right. I get. Can we see it? Yeah, it popped up behind the boat. Okay. Uh oh. So it's close enough for me to hit while I'm still in the boat. Yeah, because you have reach, right? Yeah, you have a reach yeah. weapon. Yeah. Sick. Fight the kraken. Oh. You swing, and you swing wide. You get your, you get your halberd stuck in the swan. And you can't pull it out this turn. Hmm. Okay. Well, Rajin's, uh <laughs> take a bite. <laughs> you like came around and you almost chopped the swan. Oh my! Oh your God. Rajin comes down to try and snap at the siren and ends up falling into the pool of blood. Oh no. But how come Raijin doesn't get charmed? Because he's a dragon. Because he's a dragon. <laughs> he's not a humanoid. Oh. Alright. He's not gonna fall in love with titties, bro. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, have it here. It's your turn. turn. Alright, I am going to take out these two rock feathers that I have, and I'm going to stuff one into each of my ears. <laughs> <laughs> you are just trying to find that use, aren't you? <laughs> I'm trying to sell them, I'm trying to try, get rid of them. <laughs> try to use them as an ex- and, I mean, it's not a bad idea, I guess. <laughs> it is what it is. Excuse me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so na and then I'm assuming I can't shoot, so I'll just... Uh, you know what? I'll call stuffing those in your ears a bonus action. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shoot at the one that charmed Gusty. Okay. Uh, and since I didn't move, I will use charge shot. That's a hit. Awesome. All right. Nice. All right. At the end of your turn? Yep. Alright, Xander. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna drink this shit. <laughs> oh, I <Hey>. hate my life. Fucking <laughs> 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 shit. Two ones? You know, and, then, and then I'm also gonna be huddling in the fucking bottom of this fucking boat. <laughs> I ain't fucking doing shit after <laughs> what happened. <laughs> <laughs> the duality of man. Fucking Avatir stands up is like, fuck this bitch and shoots her. Xander <laughs> takes no. the fetal position and drinks an HP potion. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Ain't getting my life fucking drained. <laughs> oh no. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper to Xander. Bros before hoes, dude. Yep. Oh, you were the first one to jump out of the boat, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the hag gets in plain sight for all you to see, and you feel her presence as her dreadful form begins to permeate the energy around all the energy around you. I need you all to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh my god. Uh, even all me? Everybody. Oh my god, it didn't right. work. Where the fuck is my Raijin two? This is this is not a. Oh <laughs> dude, oh. dude, that's three not ones in a row, bro. You out of the game. You out of the <laughs> game. Fuck, dude. All right. Oh, what? 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 All right. I'm fucking doing. Oh. I'm doing. I'm doing fucking indomitable. Fuck indomitable. <laughs> Hold on. No, just listen to what I'm about to say. Oh, okay. I'm, not, okay, I'm, okay. I'm gonna do it just for the sake for you to hold on to it because it's okay. not gonna. So here's what happens. Both Typhon and Xander, you both look at each other and go, nope, 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 and you both pull up the anchor and the boat starts moving. And you guys start floating down the river. You both take your weapons and you start paddling and moving the boat even faster. As you move away, both of you are just afraid of this hag. You you don't want to be anywhere near her. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, as a reaction, you you guys just pedal the boat. All right. Down. And soon she's. You guys turn the corner and she's out of vision. I mean, I was on the water. <laughs> well, Gu well, that's up to you, Gusty. Do you want to get back in the boat as they pedal away, or? Uh, no, I want to hit her. Okay. Uh, yeah. So they take off. They completely leave you. <laughs> that's fine. I'm gonna say what are you guys doing? Oh, hold on a sec. Uh -huh. I'm not. I'm not using a long sword. I'm using a. A thin piece of uh, of iron that I have. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to hit her. Sixteen to hit. Yeah, it's a hit. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna roll damage. Maybe four plus nine. Uh, that's eleven damage. I'm also going to grapple strike. Um. Which? Hold on a sec. So seven plus twenty. So twenty-seven versus strength contest. <laughs> she matched it. Um, you guys are in a stalemate. Hold on a sec. Oh wait, no, you said twenty-seven, right? Twenty-seven. Never mind. She, you, you won. Okay. Um, so I, I'm grappling her by sticking the immovable rod in her. And I'm lifting her out of the water. And then activating the immovable rod. Ooh. And now she's out of the water in the air. Oh. And then I'm going to draw my spear. And I'm going to keep hitting her. <laughs> again. And again. And, and not again. Well, I missed the last one, but you get you get the idea. Yeah. yeah. So 13, 13, 26. <laughs> Did you use your action surge? Uh, no, I get three. I get. Oh, uh, oh no, no, okay. I, I get see, two attacks. Yeah. The attack rolls. Yeah, okay. Um, you start turning her into a uh, pin cushion as you begin to see. Just well, the her her blood begin to drip out of her in torrents. It's probably they, showering me because she's above me at this point. Yeah. <clears throat> You're covered in blood. The rest of the blood just falls into the river, and it blends in with the rest of it. Uh, she's dead. She's for sure. She's totally dead though. This is what you get for she fucking died. with my friends. Long before, <gasps> it died almost immediately <gasps> after the uh, the immovable rod got jammed into her. And I yank my spear out, stow it, reach up, unplug the immovable rod, and just sh like shred her as I yank it out. And then I'm holding Oof. the immovable rod, and I'm just walking to catch up to the boat on the water, just covered in blood. I actually don't know where the boat went. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's you're right on top of it. That's oh, okay, yeah. 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 Okay. And you all float down, you eventually hit the curb. The pool fades away from vision as you head into the next chamber.
The next tunnel declines slightly, and the current carries you into the next chamber. This one lit by candlelight. Here, the walls are deceivingly flesh-like, but the red condensation makes some of the paint run. Flanking the river are two rocky platforms. Let's see if you can... Uh... So, you guys are here. Two rocky platforms are the ones that you see here. Or, wait, let me make sure this is right. Ah, sorry, no. So you guys continue floating through, and you guys are, like, right here. So you, let me make sure I get you. There we go. Okay, so we're, okay. This is the chamber that you see as you enter. On each platform are two circular tables, each with a couple sitting across one another. We, uh, we put those tokens on the field. Whoa! Hot mama! Yeah. Oh. So, so oh man, he's doing that. I like, I make it to the boat, and I see, I, you see, Xander sees Gusty, and Evander sees Gusty, and I'm like clutching the immoral rods so, so profusely with my hand, and I'm just covered in blood. <laughs> and I'm like, are you okay, Gusty? What happened? Just like, and, uh, Gus, you'll look at Avadir. And he, like, looks at Avadir and then looks looks at the uh, immovable rod and looks at him and says, I am sorry for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Well, uh... I'm going to say, well, I don't need here anymore. All right, then. something yeah we'll just use these for now these are probably the most representative anyway okay okay so one couple laughs and clink clinks their sloshing wine glasses together the other couple lay slumped over the table as you're Boat draws closer. The couple cl to the the couple that are drinking turn to you and grin wickedly. Oh, here, hold on. Can replace a couple of these with. Those of you who have a perception check of 15 or higher, okay. I know there are a couple of you. When uh, you look over to the couple on the right, you can see that they're dead. Oops. To the right, so me on uh, the bottom over here, right? Yeah, these two are dead. They're dead. Okay. Their are bodies are slumped over. They're slumped over, unmoving, on the table. Ah. You can also see that the wine looks very similar to the crimson liquid that flows through the ride. You've gathered that they're drinking blood. Oof. Okay. 
Uh... You suddenly feel the boat stop. Oh no. As two gates, almost like dams, pop up. And they continue to go past and lock you into this room. As the two creatures on the other side lunge at you all in the boat. Alright. We're rolling initiative again. Uh, I mean, in combat. Re reset the, yeah, reset the thing. And then. So, out of, out of game question, have any of you ever been in a tunnel of love? I just, I just rolled for the robot, by the way. I was just wondering, like, how <laughs> how comparable is this to an actual tunnel of love? <laughs> uh, it's it's pretty comparable. There's, okay. There are people who die. Okay. What? It's a, it's a soul sucking experience. It's dude. A, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we All go. Right, I'm rolling eights again. That's that's more that's more consistent. Uh, so are we just like right next to these? Two yeah, people, they're or? about they're fight. They're like about five feet away. They're about to rush you. You can see that they've taken an aggressive stance, about to lunge at you. I'm going to roll uh, this way into the water. And, uh... Oh, is this the water right here? This is water. Yeah, the two gates have come up and have locked you in here. Fuck. Uh, so here, here's what you see. To the left of the boat, you see the two thralls. Right. Um, and two tables that have been set up with wine glasses on them. To the right, you see a very similar setup with the two dead bodies. Okay, I'm going to duck. I'm going to roll over the table over here. Try okay. to get behind it. All right. Uh, is that acrobatic? Uh, yeah. Acrobatic. If you wanna, if you wanna jump and roll, yes. Um, it's a little, it's a little sloppy as oh, you stumble shaky. out of the boat and you catch yourself before you fall and eat shit. Yeah, the boat's kind of shaky because it's on water. Yeah. All but right. you're able to get onto the uh, onto the platform. Sounds good. That's just your movement, so you can, uh... Okay, uh, I'll attack this one. Mm-hmm. Since it's the first turn of combat. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Um, those are both hits. Kay. That's also a hit. Yeah, all three are hits. Okie dokie. First vampire jumps in to the boat and lunges and attacks, tries to attack the three of you. at the same time oh that's what these are oh that makes sense they're drinking blood yeah okay so the first one because xander's still in a fetal position chilling misses misses now what's your guys's ac mine's um, uh 22 22 and typhon's is 20 uh, i think tw oh, i wait i can't click my own character i uh, want right in here, let me see. Uh, I can open your character sheet from over here. Oh, perfect. Okay. 
So, uh, Gusty uses his shield to deflect the attack coming to him. And in the last attempt, she grabs Typhon and bites into him. Now well, he's going to be a vampire dragon slayer. Yeah, ra vampire dragon. Vampire dragoon. And you take, um, you take 10 damage. Ten. As the necrotic energy ripples. 10 tank fang, fang damage. Then Manny, then Manny says, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, no, wisdom, like a wisdom yeah. saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> to see if you become a vampire. <laughs> we, went, right. we went in as men came out as vampires. It's, fun. it's your turn. For the sake of clarity, it's still on the boat. But I just oh, moved it so nice. you guys can yeah. see your tokens. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna whack her. All right. Since you are using a reach weapon in f within five foot range, I'm pretty sure it's a disadvantage. How high is the ceiling? The ceiling oh. is about ten feet at this point. It okay. is much well, smaller than the good, other one. Good. Good. No. Wait. I. Why is it saying my controlled actor does not have a? Oh, because I'm. Wait. I'm controlling both. Yeah, you're controlling the. You're controlling the dragon. <laughs> Drag. I like how we're locked in a tiny ass room with a dragon. Wait, where is my? Wait, where are you? Oh, right there, there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's okay. Like you move him all around to yeah. figure it all okay, out. Okay, so Rajan is still there. Okay, there we go. Now I can jump. Okay, now I can press that. Oh my, dude! <laughs> after all that, after that, all wow. After a few, few seconds, the, he struggled to get it out of the boat the first time. <laughs> he goes right back into the And he slams it into the bench and gets it stuck again. <laughs> I'm so right. sorry, man. That's four yeah, nat ones. Uh, tonight is just not your night, buddy. Five five nat ones? Oh, there you go. Hey, Rajan's, Rajan's having a good time. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. The one that's in the boat. Okay. Okay. I don't do good with small spaces. Are you claustrophobic? Is that your flaw? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now for my sake, is Raging actually in that spot or? He's still in the yes. He's 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 in the boat. He can fly yeah. ten feet above the boat. Okay, he's flying about above the boat. Okay. And so, okay, the other one also jumps in, and now there's you have the t two of them. Do, this one does the same thing. She's like standing on the back of the swan as she approaches and she splits her attacks between Typhon and Gusty. Lovely. And she swings at Typhon and manages to, to hit him. Oof. Slashes into him for nine Four. damage. Nine. And she tries to bite into Gusty. Um, but you are even in this small confined space. You're too fast for it. Yep. I'm wearing a helmet and stuff. Okay, <laughs> Sander. <laughs> you are hiding currently. Absolutely. And you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to use my flute to fucking heal myself. That's what's going to happen. Shoot her okay? in the balls. Uh, what's the... So it's a th third level. So it's 3d8, right? No, it's... Uh, no, hold on. It's one, two, three, two, three. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, it is 3d8. Yeah, yeah, I'm 3D8. sorry. Yeah. You're, 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 you're right. The spellcasting modifier is... Your decks, I guess this is what we we had we had come to the conclusion. Yeah, yep. Four, so plus four. Okay. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> All right, and I'm still heading around the corner. <laughs> Dude, heal motherfucker, okay. heal, heal motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, before I, I I I do like my little flute thing. I peek and like, yep, not coming out yet. <laughs> and I and I duck around. It's like duck the. Just for the sake, so everybody knows what's going on. It's not that he's hiding. He's, like, tucked in in between the front of the boat. 
and the first bench. Yes. And so he's just in there in the little hole of, of yep. the boat. Yep. Not ready yet, but I'll be I'll be ready, guys, soon. All right, Gusty, it's your turn. Let's see. I actually have. Uh, Damn, I fucking rolled shit. Three, mm, one, two. Should I use a wooden stake? Uh, nah. <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> yeah, I got it from uh, when we were up in the mountains right before Balzar died. Mhm. Mm oh, the dragon thing or whatever. Yeah, there were some frozen trees. I was trying to make stakes. <laughs> okay, go for it. I'm gonna stake them in the heart. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Twenty. Now, right. now, hold on, Manny. If, if they are, if it is, is did Typhon vault or did he fl or did he just flop that shit? Oh. He tried. He vaulted, and as he came down, he slammed the axe so hard he got it. He, he got so, it stuck in the in the boat. So we're all in the boat. Could we yeah. be potentially flanking? Because oh no, he's too busy trying to get his halberd out. Of the boat. <laughs> so you guys are like next to each other. Yeah. Okay. And the one of the one of the creatures is in front, uh, standing in the front of the boat where the mm -hmm. head is. The other one is on the back where the tail is, and they're swiping at you guys in the boat. Gotcha. All right. So, so anyway. 2022 all right and where are you directing your attacks to the one <laughs> to the one in the boat but directly they're... at their heart okay but <laughs> they're both they're both technically in the boat you're right but not the one that's on the tail of the boat which you okay, said they the were on yeah okay. the one in front of us all exactly right. all right go ahead roll your damage all right and, and 12 okay oh god it's still alive and you, you take the uh, the wooden stake and you try to your your best attempts at trying to reenact what you saw um, in a play once, like in a play once of of a vampire hunter. You you seem to remember it call you know, something like Van Haley or something. Uh huh. Or Van Halen is your best <laughs> guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just you guys know. Stakes don't work like that on vampires in D and D. <laughs> they don't work on no. that. <laughs> not Medicaid. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. You can try, but it doesn't work like it does. They don't do that. All right, Avenir, it's your turn. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to attack this one. And while I'm attacking, I'm going to yell. I'm going to say, "Which one of you bit the boat?" <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. That makes sense. No, I'm going to attack. That's why they were bite marks. That's a hit. It's also a hit. All right. Did I get a reply, or did they just... No, but as your, uh, your arrows slam into her... Turns around, like hisses at you, and bears her her teeth, very sharp but pointy. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay, and as uh. You finally pry your halberd loose. You feel a claw dig in through your armor and into your shoulder as you get pulled in in your bit, Typhon. So he's bit again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, what are you rolling? He has 20 AC. You guys are flanked. What are you talking about? Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and as she, as the creature bites in, lets go, she lets her claw loose on Gusty, but misses. Oh, my God. All right, Typhon, it's your turn. How much, how much did she hit me for? Uh, it was 12... Uh, 18 damage total. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Now you know Which how the one, whichever one just bit me would be the one to the right. Now you know how the enemies of your dragon feel. Hey, it wasn't a one. That's the one I'm actually gonna hit this time. Okay. And as you jump up, they take advantage and take oh, swings no. at you. Hold on a minute. You take an additional 15 points of slashing damage. Oh, God. <clears throat> as you leap out of their uh, their range and you come back down and you slam it. Which are uh, your attacks? Let me see. What were they again? Uh, 22? 22 to hit. Uh, yeah. Damage. Yeah, that was hit. Now, oh dear. now, can I ask you a question, Manny? Mm -hmm. Let me let me try to th throw Typhon a bone here. So, so he's vaulting like ten or twenty feet into the air, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's landing on this boat, right? Mm -hmm. And it, when he lands, is it very gracefully? Well, it's as he's leaping, not as he's landing. That but he what I mean is, like, if he's shaking the boat, does that mean like the vampire on the tail of the boat might get thrown off? Like maybe. Uh, they're surprisingly acrobatic. All right. <laughs> I tr sorry, Ryan. I tried. Hey, you tried, dude. You tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming Regin didn't hit. Uh, that is correct. Regin did not hit. Okay. Um, that's all. <laughs> and as you blow into your flute and heal yourself, the vampire looks down and sees you, screeches in your face, and starts to dig into you there, uh, Xander. Fuck me. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so your A, A. The first claw mi misses. The second one comes down and dig digs into you. As you feel her claws dig in through your f flesh, it feels like nails just pierce you. And she tries to bite, but you're able to hit her with the butt of your crossbow as she tries to bite into you and ward off her attack. You take nine damage. Okay. Thank God. All right. It's your turn. All right. Oh, shit. Oh. Um. So, which one attacked me? This one, right? Yeah, that one. Okay. I'm going to attack her. Okay. I'm going to attack her back. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna attack her normally. Oh my! Does one of them hit. Yeah, the first one hit. Okay, I'm gonna also do this, so I can attack again. Okay. I'm just gonna roll that one again and roll that one. Do any of them hit? Uh, those are all hits. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll that, roll that. And roll that. Can yeah, I so can I re-roll the ten with my uh, piercer? Uh, yeah, you you can't go ahead. Um, but what happens is as you you butt her with the crossbow, the oh, she's already crossbow, dead. You hit her once in the in her abdomen, and the second one hits her in the chin, and she falls back. You see her body just kind of lurch back and into the water, and. He begins to float <laughs> down and gets stuck at the gate. I'm just okay. leave it for now. Yeah, can I can I just say how I like responded to her attacking me? Sure. I'm not gonna die today. I'm not gonna <laughs> die today. <laughs> so I just wildly shoot. That's why like one of them missed. <laughs> and then as you come up, because the last one still hits, you, um, you come up, you take a knee, and you shoot the other one. In between oh, Gusty and Typhon with that last attack. Hell yeah. Alright, Gusty, it's your turn. Uh yeah. Uh so let's see. I'm gonna still that I'm gonna still my stake. I'm gonna still my stake. Sorry, I don't know why that was so hard to say. And I'm gonna draw the tooth and i'm gonna give the other <laughs> vampire the old stabby stab um now now that he has retrieved his weapon are we flinky now 
<laughs> uh, let's say that you can position yourself for a flank. Yes. <laughs> like take a five, yeah. like two steps to the left. Like okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thirty. 20, 30, 30, 15, and 20, so 35 damage. Give him the old stabby stab. And Gusty uses his, his judgment and decides to go for an audible, puts the, the stake away, pulls out his dagger, and as she's turned around, digging into Typhon, you stab her in the back. And then you bring the dagger out, and then you stab her again, and this time it pierces through her back into where you presume the heart is. Aha! And as you do, you see her body go tense, and then suddenly loosen up and go limp, as she's now dangling off of your dagger. Alright, I just throw her into the water, like, kind of like I'm trying to shake chocolate off my... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's see. And then... All right. Is that the end of combat? And with the immediate threat over, that is the end of combat. All right. Here, let me... Uh, uh, here we go. I'll use one of my things. <laughs> and I'll, I'll rub some, some vapor rub on Xander's neck. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate <laughs> it. 13 HP back. Hell yeah. My savior. You feel as like the mint flows into your nostrils. <laughs> I love how you called it Vix Vapor of. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. The gates are still up. They're still up. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Um Is Avatar still here with us? Yep. What do your elven eyes see? Any any switches or levers? Um, uh, roll uh, an investigation check if you're looking for something like that. Yep. <laughs> um, you're too preoccupied with the thoughts of your the family you left. Uh, and the <laughs> <laughs> the near death experience you just had to, to get a proper investigation of the immediate area. And so you take a quick look around. You go, no. <laughs> In your head, you're just like, I don't see anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, looks see. looks fine to me. All right, let me try. Nope. This is why I had Avidir look do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Gusty takes uh, Avidir's word for it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, well, they, you know, he's right. He's, he's nine times out of ten, he finds it. Can we try searching the body? <laughs> they're in, in the blood water. <laughs> yeah, they're oh, they're in the... they're floating they're against the right. yeah they're floating against the 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 gate that's keeping us in right now. Yeah, I'm gonna like look under this table here for a switch or something. Okay. Um, for the purposes of this check, um, that's it would still be the same investigation check. So, you you did okay. look for it, but you weren't very thorough. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Um. Okay. So. Let's see. These have to come up and come. Wait a minute. Hmm. Interesting. So these two guys were sitting here. Okay. Can I? The, these two dead bodies, are they sitting together at the same table? Yeah, they're lumped over. Yeah. Can I can I over. move them? Can I move them to a different table but like sitting across from each other? Sure. You can do that. All right, like on this there's two tables on this yeah, side. Yeah, right? yeah. All right, does anything so you move happen? Move it over. <laughs> does anything happen? And uh, once you situate the bodies, <sighs> nothing. God damn it. I thought maybe maybe we had to Okay, well, that's nothing. I think the puzzle of this room is we have to sit, like, opposite to each other, maybe? But then how But then how would the boat move if we have to be in the boat? Okay. So, once everybody's nerves calm down, let's see, Xander and Typhon, roll investigations. Oh, 
All right, so, Sander, you see the levers up on the wall over where the vamp, the uh, the creatures were sitting. Motherfucker, really? Right up, right up here, yeah. <laughs> so you you can just walk over and pull the lever. Oh my god, <laughs> guys, you guys literally overthought it, and I point at point at the lever. Um, and so I I assume that Xander was on the right side, and then Typhon hops over to the other side. And you notice a box full of vials. <laughs> the note oh. on it that says for Bab, ten oh, RT per vial to be paid on delivery. Go ahead and roll a one D four. Wait, okay. not, what? No, I'm gonna right? take yeah, Typhon's roll. So you had there are two vials in this box. What are you gonna do with them? Um, there was to be paid to who? Bab. Where where is Bab again? <laughs> he is a butcher. Oh like, yeah. Okay. I guess I'm gonna pocket them for now. Okay. And uh, at some point, I assume you guys pull the switch. Uh huh. Yeah. The bodies get caught and they get dragged down with the gate that was holding you guys in. And the boat that was bumping up against it now begins to f go down the tunnel once more. Mika? And you begin yeah, to uh, reach the, uh, the mm. turn as it continues down the tunnel. The light dims. And it's dark and quiet. But we're going to stop there for tonight. Okay. Great. Cool.